Well, this is Warren Hill, which is probably the most important cantering ground in Newmarket. And we know it was cleared in 1666 uh, for coursing and falconry. And then Charles II came along and he used it for racing. But it was a very different world. When I came here, there were 35 trainers, 750 horses. And now there's 81 trainers and 2,500 horses. And all of that has been managed and could only have been managed by the advent of artificial surfaces. So on Warren Hill here, we have two poly tracks, slightly different consistency. The near one is a bit quicker than the far one. And we try and give trainers an alternative. 85, 90% of the horses you'll see here are, uh, are flat horses. So we've got plenty of good jump horses here, but it's principally flat. Well, this side of the town, you've got Sir Michael Stout, Mr. Gosden, and Roger Varian, and uh, William Haggis. So the four biggest trainers numerically in Newmarket all would have horses coming up here every day. And then you've got people like me with got a total of 50 horses and then you've got John Berry and people so you'll see every sort of horse come up here every sort of trainer watching them and the public can recognize them often by the fact that they have different colored sheets on different initials and so you can get a good idea of, of, of whose horses are coming up it's endlessly fascinating I think because um, it, history has shown that every good trainer basically does two canters a day and that seems to be the effective way and by some miracle when Newmarket started here was this hill at just the right distance just the right incline and everybody's reproduced it so you'll see all the current best horses really a large percentage of them will be on view because they're trained in Newmarket basic routine for a horse in regular work is that they would do a steady-ish canter here, walk back down, do a quick-ish canter, and then walk back down, have a pick of grass on the way in. But what, what the trainer's looking for is to see um, that the horse is as normal. That's a very strange thing to say, and trainers and their staff know the horse is so well that if he doesn't do what he usually does, then that's a cause for worry. So a lot of it is, is looking for, to make sure the horse is as normal, moving as freely as normal, uh, enjoying his work. Um, so you're looking to see their action and you're listening to hear their wind. You tell really by the degree of work he's had, how long he blows, how hard he blows, the distance he's going to run. It's all very related individually to each horse. And you'll see they come up in very different ways. Some trainers like them to come up with a gap between each. Some trainers, they come up in batches of three. Everybody's got their own idea. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. Everybody trains plenty of winners.